The overview of the week for this Sunday is the book of Amos. Amos was written sometime in the 8th century BC, and he was a contemporary of Isaiah, Jonah, and Hosea. So the theme of Amos's prophecy is judgment upon injustice, corruption, and moral decay. Uh, his prophecy was mainly directed at the northern kingdom of Israel, which was really experiencing a time of peace and prosperity. But as is often the case, when things are going well, what do people do? They tend to take things for granted and they began to forget God and that is what happened. So because of this, the Israelites became corrupt and while they praised God with their lips, their hearts were far from him and their worship became ritualistic and vain. Because of this, the Lord says in chapter five of Amos verses 21 through 24, and just know this is God speaking to them about their worship. He says, I hate, I despise your feast days, and I do not savor your sacred assemblies. Though you offer me burnt offerings in your grain offerings, I will not accept them, nor will I regard your fattened peace offerings. Take away from me the noise of your songs, for I will not hear the melody of your stringed instruments but let justice run down like water and righteousness like a mighty stream. So Amos preached to the nation, but unfortunately the nation did not listen. And because of this, the Northern Kingdom was destroyed. But because of God's love for his people and because God keeps his word and is faithful, even when they were unfaithful, the Lord promised in this book that Israel's greatness would one day be restored. The Lord makes the following statements in chapter nine, referring to the second advent of Christ and the kingdom age. He says, on that day, I will raise up the tabernacle of David, which has fallen down and repair its damages. And I will raise up its ruins and rebuild it as in the days of old. And I will bring back the captives of my people Israel and I will plant them in their land and no longer shall they be pulled up from the land which I have given them says the Lord your God. <laughs> 